Well, that story where the director of livestock policy, Christopher Wanga, is raising concerns over the low number of uh, veterinarians is now ready. Remember, Wanga told the National Assembly's committee on delegated legislation that half of veterinarians in Kenya uh, are due to retire within the next year. So there is need to fast track employment of those officers. Here's that report now. Kenya has been exporting live livestock to the Middle East as it scouts for more markets. However, the Ministry of Agriculture says exports to lucrative markets such as Europe and United States will remain a pipe dream if the number of veterinarians is not increased. A little, you know, the, not the systematic employment the way you do for military and other offices. It is occasional, like the last uh, lot were employed in 2011 and a few. They could not cover the whole country. We are struggling to, to export our, our meat and meat products into lucrative markets where the standards are very stringent. So if these standards are not watched and observed, then we are going to have a big challenge. He says this could compromise the quality of meat. The shortage of veterinaries is likely to worsen in the next two years. Almost uh, three quarters of the technical staff in the government now, they will be retired. So we are going to have a very big challenge in the next two, three years. The first resources people think about are livestock resources. So if we, we don't take care of this area, we have a major challenge on our hands. To strengthen the livestock valley chain, plans are underway to anchor the veterinary council in law to regulate animal medicine.